ever watched or tried gymnastics? If you haven't trained, gymnastics is a hard sport, and it seems impossible. But it is possible, and we're going to find out why, using physics. What we're going to be looking at is the front tuck. As you can see, the gymnast runs, jumps, and then flips. How the gymnast can make it look effortless is through her jump. We can analyze it using dynamics, energy, and momentum, three key parts of physics. In the first section, the gymnast starts running. Here, she is gaining energy and momentum. Let's look at energy. Energy is the ability to do work, and there are multiple types of energy. However, we're going to be looking at gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy. Potential energy is defined as stored energy, whereas kinetic energy is the energy of motion. Before she jumps, she has stored energy, which comes from the food she ate. But what about after she jumps? If we wanted to look at this mathematically, potential energy is equal to mass times gravity times height. Kinetic energy is one half mass times velocity squared. Velocity is speed, but in terms of direction. As soon as she jumps, we know that she has both kinetic and potential energy because height and velocity is not equal to zero. Newton's second law says that net force is equal to mass times acceleration. When the gymnast hits the floor with a force, the floor hits her back with an equal and opposite force. This is Newton's third law. She can also go higher though because the floor is made of springs, which adds force in addition to gravity. For the flip itself, we can look at momentum and dynamics. If you notice, the gymnast pulls her arms in when she flips, making her spin faster. This is due to the conservation of angular momentum. Momentum is conserved for a spinning body with no torque applied. Torque is rotational force. For example, if I spin a bicycle wheel, I'm applying a torque to it. Just like net force is equal to mass times acceleration, net torque is equal to moment of inertia times angular acceleration. The moment of inertia is basically how difficult it is to spin about an axis. It's equal to mass times radius squared. Therefore, when her arms are above her head, her inertia is much larger than when they are hugging her knees. Since angular momentum is conserved and her inertia decreases, her angular acceleration therefore must increase. This is why, although you can see a gymnast missing a landing, they never just stop in midair and fall straight down.